Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gavs again. This is the second part of the video discussion regarding system of nonlinear equations. Okay, so I'll be giving you a second example right now. We have this, solve the given system of equations x squared minus 5y equals 3, which is clearly a, clearly a parabola, of course, right? Um, if you remember, based on our review, if this is the equation and it, was, it has only um, one term with a degree of 2, then that can be a parabola. Then we have also 3x squared minus 7y squared equals 8. So there are two terms here in the degree of 2. So it can be a circle, ellipse, or hyperbola. But notice the coefficients you know, 3 and negative 7 are opposite in sign. So in other words, this is a hyperbola. Next, these are the possibilities also. There might be no intersection. So the parabola and the parabola are here. So there's no solution because there's no intersection. It can be that the parabola is tangent to the hyperbola. So there's only one solution to that. It could be that the parabola is only intersecting twice one side of the hyperbola. So that should be two solutions. Or it could be tangent to the other side. And I mean tangent to one side and intersecting twice at the other side. So it means three solutions. And also if in both sides the parabola is intersecting twice. So of course we expect four solutions. So in my case, again, no, I suggested last time to check first in the Desmos or in the graphing applications, or if you want, you may have, or if you have a graphing calculator, you may do those. So in my case, I have only, I am maximizing the graphing calculator online. So I can actually see that the equations are intersecting or the curves are intersecting four times. So first intersection, second, third, and fourth. So the black line or the blank curve is, the black curve is actually the parabola and the red one is the hyperbola. So basically here, I am expecting four ordered pairs as the solutions of this system. Okay, so now let's proceed to our algebraic solution. Let's go back. I'm taking down the equations, the given. So solution we have, I'll assume the parabola equation is the equation one and the hyperbola equation is the equation two. This time guys, now I will not be using the substitution method. Um, for me, it might be quite challenging because there are two terms here in the degree of 2. And if I will equate this equation 1 in terms of y, I might have a fraction at the same time. If I substitute it to the value of y squared, then I will be, you know, I will be um, getting an equation which is more challenging compared to the other method which is the substitution method. i sorry, no, that's not substitution but elimination method rather. So what is elimination method anyway? So from the term itself, elimination. We are to eliminate a variable. Okay, so that's the concept now. We are to eliminate a variable. So in this case, it is clear that I cannot eliminate the y variable because this is in the degree of 1, this is in the degree of 2. So what I do is I can actually focus on the x squared terms. Notice that if this is 3x three, three squared, now if this is just 3x squared, then it would be easier because I can just subtract the two equations right away and 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. But unfortunately, we have x squared only here and this is 3x squared. So I should make a way to make this 3x squared. Okay, so I should find a way. How do I do that? Well, of course, if you have experience in solving system of linear equations, this topic also exists or this method also exists, I'll just multiply the whole equation by 3. So in that way, I will come up with 3x squared. Of course, no, 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So I'm just leaving a space here for the y squared term because I can see that in equation 2, there is a y squared term. So no problem for the x squared term. I can align it here. The y squared term is what uh, is the problem because I don't have y squared term in the first equation. So that's why I'm leaving here a space. So it's really up to you on how to do it. But for me, I want to organize my solution. That's why I'm doing it this way. Then um, the, eight, eight, the, the eight term is constant. So of course, there's nine here. So I can just align eight with nine. So this is how it looks like. You know, 3x squared and 3x squared are now aligned. 
negative 7y squared is aligned with the space, then I don't have the y term in the second equation. So that's why I'm leaving a space. And then 8 is already aligned with 9. So again, this is just for the sake of organizing my solution. The more organized my solution is, the lesser risk for me to get a wrong answer. Then from here, I can eliminate one variable now. Okay, so I can subtract the whole equations. I can, I can subtract the two equations rather. So in that way, I can have zero result when I subtract 3x squared and 3x squared. So I should not add because if I will add, because anyway, no, in elimination method, you can choose to subtract or add. But if I will add, then the result would be 6x squared. So I should subtract them. Now, from zero minus negative 7y squared, be careful in this part. Huh? Always consider the operation. So there's 0 here, minus negative 7y squared, of course, you have positive 7y squared. Negative 15y minus 0 is negative 15y. 9 minus 8 is, of course, equal to 1. Simplifying the equation further by just removing 0 here, so I have 7y squared minus 15y equals 1. And then, in general form, that should be 7y squared minus 15y minus 1 equals 0. Now, in this part, guys, no, if you obtain a quadratic equation, you may choose to, to factor out or use a quadratic formula, whichever is applicable. So I can actually see that this is not, um, I mean, this is factorable, but not with the whole number. So it might be quite difficult. Okay, so what I do is I'll just use the, use, uh, I will just use the quadratic formula. So using quadratic formula, recall, that's y equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, um, extracting the values of a, b, c, a is equal to 7, of course, b is negative 15, and c is negative 1. From there, you may substitute. So b, negative b, that becomes negative of negative 15. Remember, negative is already there originally, so only b is being substituted. So I just copy negative here and substitute b with negative 15. Then b squared, negative 15 squared. Minus 4 times 7 times negative 1 for the value of C. Then 2 times 7, of course, for the value of A. Simplifying further, you will come up with, of course, double negation. You will have positive 15 plus minus the square root of 253. Just use calculator in this part. All over 14. Then you have two values of Y. Y sub 1 is equal to 15 plus the square root of 253 all over 14. Okay, so we use plus here. We only consider the plus or the addition symbol. Then, of course, we have the subtraction part. That means 15 minus the square root of 253 minus 14. Sorry, all over 14. Now, in this case, I may use the next slide uh, because I need more space. Remember, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. And these are the values of y sub 1 and y sub 2. Okay, so guys, in the elimination method, you may use either equation 1 or equation 2, whichever you're comfortable to. You know? In the previous example, in the substitution, you will, manipulate the, the, uh, you will manipulate one equation, then you will use the other equation in the substitution part. But in the elimination, you are to use any, okay? any of the two equations. If you use equation 1, you will come up with an answer. If you use equation 2, you will come up with the same answer. So it doesn't really matter uh, which equation you will use. But you can be wise, guys. No? You can be wise. What I mean is choose the simpler equation because simpler equation meaning simpler solution. So in my case, I can see that um, equation 1 is quite simpler compared to equation 2. So in this case, I will use equation 1 instead of equation 2. And then I can actually um, set up this way. Um, I, I am only concerned of the x variable or the x value, so I can just set aside all other terms without the x variable. So it's up to you anyway, and you will still come up with the same answer. So from here, I can now substitute the value of y. So the value of y is this green, uh, green shaded value or numbers. So that should be 15 plus square root of 253 all over 14. From here, you will come up with 3 plus, this, uh, 3 plus 75 plus 5 squared of 253 all over 14. Then, um, getting LCD, 
you will now have 42 plus 75 plus 5 square root of 253 all over 14. Then lastly, you will have 117 plus 5 square root of 253 all over 14. Guys, remember, we only need the x variable, but we have x squared here. So what should I do? I will take square roots on both sides. Okay, extracting square roots on both sides will give me the value of x sub 1. So from x sub, I mean, from x squared, of course, it becomes x lang. And then, remember, this is labeled, supposedly this is only x, guys, no? But I am labeling it with x sub 1 because this is pair of y sub 1. Okay, so suppose it is only x, but I am pair, I am, I am um, labeling it with x sub 1 because this is, this is the pair of y sub 1. Now, we have two values already. No? We have two values, positive and negative, of this radical expression because we are extracting square roots. Remember that we have 2x sub 1. So in other words, um, I have two ordered pairs already. Pairing the positive of this and this y sub 1, and the negative of this and the y sub 1. Then next to that, I may now proceed to using y sub 2. Using y sub 2, I'll just use the same equation, equation number 1. Then I substitute here. I have minus square root of 253 all over 14, of course, because we already have a minus here. Then I may proceed. You will get this 3 plus 75, uh, 75 minus 5 square root of 253 all over 14. Then you will have 42 plus 75 minus 5 square root of 253 all over 14. Then finally, you have 117 when you add 42 and 75. Minus 5 square root of 253 all over 14. Extract squares on both sides. Of course, this will be labeled as x sub 2. So again, square root of x squared is x, but I'm labeling it with x sub 2 because this is the pair of y sub 2. There are two values also, positive of this radical expression and the negative of this radical expression. Therefore, these are the solutions to the system given. So first, now look at this. This is the first ordered pair. Um, this is coming from here the x sub 1, the positive value, paired with the y sub 1. This is the pair y sub 1. The second uh, ordered pair, or the second solution, is the negative of this value. So we have negative here, and paired with y sub 1 as well. Then the third ordered pair is the positive of this value. So this positive, 117 minus 5 square root of 253 all over 14, paired with this y sub 2 value then lastly we have the negative of this value paired with the y sub 2 okay so this is actually the ordered pair so these are the four solutions to the system you may check guys again huh? you may check this using the um desmos uh using desmos.com or if you if or if you have desmos app in your phone or computer or if you have a calculator graphing calculator the better no so from here, you may check your answers. Notice that, actually, I already encoded all the answers here uh, to save more time. This is the equation parabola. This is the equation hyperbola. This is, these are the four solutions that we obtained in, the, in our solutions. So number one, if I click this, the point will appear. And actually, it's there. No? It's the blue line. I mean, sorry, this should be the blue point. That is the intersection, the first intersection. Then also the second solution, we have this green point. Then we have this, the purple one. And lastly, we have this one, the black point in the graph. Okay, so it has been verified that our answers are true or correct. So these are really the solutions of, um, of the system that, uh, that are given. Okay? So anyway, guys, thank you for watching my videos. If you have reached this far, please hit subscribe and click on the notification bell for future videos. Okay, in part three, I will be giving you another example. So goodbye and see you again in the next videos.